to respond to what has been a very public and jarring issue of racial strife that involved a social media post that was made by a few students at Bullard High. Many of you know, it was recently shared by several articles in the Atlantic Magazine which referenced Fresno's ugly divide. We stand here because we had a failure, and failure is incredibly hard. But failure can be good if it moves you to something better. Can you fail forward? And that's what we're trying to do here today is fail forward with this issue. So we've identified some several first steps that will help us launch our work immediately. Now I'm going to say unequivocally, these are not fully completely vetted because our community is going to help us do that process to make sure that their voices are adequately heard. This is a responsibility that I as a community member said, hey, you know, if we have students that are being hurt and feeling unsafe on campus, it's everybody's responsibility to do something, right? Even if it's not my daughter or my kid or my school, right? It's my city. And, and we have to take action. First and foremost, working with our Bullard staff, we have 300 incoming freshmen that are coming to Bullard as part of our upcoming Summer Bridge program. There's an opportunity right there, before we get kids on campus for the first time, to lean in to cultural awareness and to help them create an inclusive environment. We will dive deep into what our students need to know. The N-word is not a good word. I've been campaigning against this word since last year, but our students use it frequently against each other. It's not just one ethnicity, it's all of them. All ethnicities use it to, as a term of endearment and it's not okay because now it's created a different light which students painting their faces and things like that are very hurtful. The word is hurtful. Our teachers need to reach out to our students and make it a no-nonsense word. One of the recommendations of this group behind me was that we implement a parent advisory board. That was something that existed in Bullard, and it went defunct about 2014, so we're gonna double our efforts back. We also need to start policing one another. We can't leave it up to the school district to, to make the changes. The changes have to start at home. Parents need to start policing their kids, and kids need to step up and start policing their parents, because what I do understand is that everything that my child has learned has come from me and their, their beliefs, their biases, their stereotypes, and that sort of thing started in the household. Our goal two team, which is our engagement team, is gonna widen its net and engage students further in an effort to expand and to build up Bullard's Black Student Union. I don't want any other kid feeling like they shouldn't go to school because they feel uncomfortable. I don't want any kid feeling uncomfortable in their own skin. Everybody was normally raised to all be friends, so why is it now so different because of my skin tone? We're gonna to expand the footprint of the Ujima Academy at Bullard, which is part of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. That began at Bullard this year, but we're gonna expand on that program and double the number of students that are involved in that. The intent is to give students additional opportunities to build cultural conscience, to develop servant leadership skills, and to build community. As an educational institution, if I do nothing else but get kids into the space where they realize they don't dictate everything that happens and there are people that see the world differently, I will have done them a great service.